what's up everybody and welcome back so today in this video we are going to talk about the optimization and specifically for our uh, mobile devices so uh, uh, the first thing we are going to discuss today is the batching so you may have heard about the uh, batching and in almost every project we have to use batching to optimize our game both for pc and mobile devices so uh, as you can see in the scene right now we have uh, different platforms so right here if you see we have this uh, some of the uh, you know uh, cubes are similar so these green cubes are similar uh, then these uh, black cubes are similar we have some trees and uh, bridges so let's first uh, see the definition of uh, batching and then we are going to uh, see how to optimize the uh, batches and to and increase our frame rate for mobile devices so first let's see what the draw call is so actually to draw any uh, game object on the screen uh, the uh, engine is going to uh, call the graphics api for a draw call okay and draw call is a very resource incentive intensive uh, operation and it takes uh, a lot of cpu power to do so so uh, if you have uh, let's say more than 300 draw calls for mobile devices your game is going to be lagging okay so uh, for uh, low-end devices uh, the recommended draw call is uh, below 100 so it was uh, you know 80 but uh, now we have seen that uh, mobile phones are getting powerful each day so uh, the number is also increasing so, so right now if you have let's say uh, 150 draw calls uh, or maybe less than 150 for a mid-range phone and that is okay okay so uh, to reduce the draw calls we use two techniques okay there are a lot of them but we are going to see a dynamic batching and static batching so as you can see in the highlight here that uh, uh, static batching actually combines the uh, game objects into a big mesh who shares the same uh, material okay and textures so uh, it is going to you know combine the all of the small objects into one big mesh and so it can render it uh, in a faster way okay and it will uh, reduce your C cpu head around 80 percent okay now uh, you can uh, go to the uh, documentation and read in detail about uh, the static batching and uh, so let's uh, see the scene here so as you can see that we have these uh, little cubes a lot of them in our scene so right now if we you know play the game and uh, take a look at our uh, draw calls so let's first see the stats so as you can see now we are getting the uh, frame rate around 165 fps and uh, if we take a look at profiler and if we click anywhere here you can see that the draw calls we are having is 12 12 and the total batches are the same number so uh, now let's enable the static batching and see what happens so i am going to exit from the play mode now i am going to uh, select all the tiles so all of the tiles are inside this uh, tile set so i am just uh, going to click on here and set set it batching static and click on yes to change children and now if we play so let's see the stats and let's uh, go to the profiler now. so as you can see our drop calls reduced to 163 and if you go to here and you will see that uh, saved by batching so total batches are now 19 and saved by batching is 11 93 we have uh, managed to reduce 1193 draw calls by just clicking making them static 